Anytime you're working with lists in Excel, you may need to remove duplicate items. It's not a lot of fun to do by hand, so Excel gives a, a great tool to make that easier. Here in the Data tab of the ribbon, in the Data Tools section, you'll find this Remove Duplicates button. Now the very fact that it starts with the word Remove tells you you need to use this with caution. Um, it doesn't really give you a preview of what it's going to do, it just does it. And if something doesn't go as planned, remember that the Undo button or the keyboard shortcut Control z can be your best friends. So I'm going to click the Remove Duplicates button. When you've got just a single column list like this, it's pretty simple to use. About the only option you see right here, you can choose whether or not your data has headers. And so I'm going to say OK. And it tells me that it found two duplicate values and removed them, five unique remain. And it even slides everything up so you don't uh, have to manually remove the gaps in your list afterwards. Now that's a nice feature that it does that cleanup for you, but it also introduces uh, something else you need to be careful about. Here I've got another list with two columns, but I've got this empty column in between. And that interferes with, um, with the list removal sometimes if you don't handle it correctly. You'll notice that if I hit remove duplicates right now, it doesn't realize that this other column is part of my list. That's why usually I will manually select my range. You can either select the columns like that or you could just could just select the cells. So we'll go back to remove duplicates and we're going to tell it that our data has headers and for now I'm going to tell it just to look for duplicates on the first column and so here you can see we've got two A's, two B's we've got actually three C's and three D's. If I click OK there it correctly removes duplicates. If I had just selected column A, or if I let it do its selection by itself, then you'd see that my data would all be out of sync between my two columns. Now you can be more restrictive on your duplicate checking. If I tell it that I need, um, need it to match all three columns, or it could just be column A and C in this case, then you'll see that even though we've got two or three of each of these, we only have one match that I've got highlighted here in yellow when we consider both columns and then a second one here the widget D in white so if I click OK now only two duplicate values are found and removed and nine unique remain so the more columns you select the more restrictive your duplicate checking becomes 